lady in our heart. Let us do it with all our hearts, with all our friends, and we confess to her with all our minds. That is when we will be ready for that judgment after death, and then we shall be ready to die. And I pray that when the time comes for our own death, we will go with them. Um, like Brother Paul said, that he has finished his feet, he has finished his work. Mm-hmm. And we will go with satisfaction mm-hmm. of finishing well. Mm-hmm. And we shall have the reward in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're looking at Second Timothy chapter 4, from verse 1 to 5. Second Timothy 4, from verse 1 to 5. This passage is probably one of the most frightening in the whole Bible. Why is it so frightening? It's because Paul was saying to Timothy, I'm calling certain people to be witness against you concerning what I'm about to say. The first person I'm calling to be witness is God. Your maker, your controller of your destiny. Because according to Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 4 to 5, Jeremiah 1, Jeremiah 1, 4 to 5. The Bible says, Before God formed you, He knew you. While you were in your mother's womb, He had already decided what you are supposed to become. So Paul was saying to Timothy, Listen carefully. Your destiny is at stake concerning what I'm about to say. Second witness, he says he was calling, was the Lord Jesus Christ himself. The Lord Jesus Christ is the one whose blood brought you salvation. First John chapter 1 verse 7. First John 1 7 the blood of Jesus Christ that cleanses from all sins. So he was saying to Timothy, listen carefully. Your salvation is at stake concerning what I'm about to say. Witness number three, the judge who will judge the living as well as the dead. And according to Matthew 25, from verse 31 to 46, Matthew 25, 31 to 46, on that judgment day, there will be a separation between sheep and goat. There will be a separation between those who will be going to the kingdom of God and those who will be going to hell. So he was saying to Timothy, where you will be and the judgment day mm-hmm. is at stake here. Whether you be on the right hand or on the left, whether you go to heaven or you go to hell, is at stake on what I'm about to say. And see if that is not fearful enough. It's a witness number four is the appearing of the Lord Jesus Christ, the rapture, the second term. And in First Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 15 to 17, First Thessalonians 4, 15 to 17, the Bible made it clear that when Jesus shall appear, those who are his own will be changed and they will go and be with him 
forever. He is saying to Timothy, whether you go at the rapture or not, it's at stake here. It should be enough to get the attention of anybody. Your destiny is at stake. Your salvation is at stake. What happens to you on the day of judgment is at stake. Whether you go at the rapture or you don't, and if you don't, you have to deal with the Antichrist. That's also at stake. What is this thing you want to say that is so important, so solemn? Preach the gospel. In other words, if you like, do what I'm telling you to do. Witness. Teach. Correct those who are going wrong. Encourage those who are doing well. If you do it, God will reward you. The salvation will be set to you. The day of judgment, you have nothing to fear. When the Lord appears, you will be able to go with him. We don't do it. The one who said to Eli, I'm the one who said that your destiny will be to be a priest before me forever. Now I say I'm not saying so anymore. That God is the one I'm calling mm. to be next my witness number one. You don't do it, your destiny is at stake. You don't do it, your salvation is at stake. And if you miss your salvation, the word of God made it clear. If you have tasted <coughs> the joy of salvation, and then the salvation is withdrawn. Mm -hmm. Automatically, the sorrow will be double. It's better never to have been saved than to lose the salvation. He said, if we don't do it, the one who is going to judge on the final day it's already part of the people are called to be witness. So you can't pretend that you didn't hear. Hmm. If you miss the rapture, it's because you fail to witness the work of God. The elders have been saying, it's only the goat who will hear of the day of his death and they still continue to eat grass. Mm -hmm. Nothing can be more solemn than this passage. From now on, when you wake up in the morning, remember this passage. You know you have an assignment to win souls. The grace to do it, may God give to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, what a long domain. Domain. My tongue, I come up, they do put us up. We have a problem. I said, I'm to my favor. I'm to my lover. I had like you. I'm a quick cut up a bounce. Only. I Only one. Only one. 